Hi folks, it's Matt with Storm and Rail Fan 96 wishing you all a Merry Christmas. Uh, I'm going to be making two parts of a Christmas special here. This will be part one. And part one is going to be just a review of the items I have for sale. And part two will be a fire alarm demonstration that I filmed uh, a little while ago. So anyways, let's go ahead and jump into part one of this Christmas special. So I still have seven of these System Sensor Spectral Alert Classic P2475s. Uh, I sold one recently. Uh, we've made some changes to the horn strobes. I'll go ahead and flip this over. So we take a look at the back here, and you can see the only thing that I've changed is I've actually added some terminal jumpers to uh, all of my alarms. It's not just this alarm, but it's uh, every single horn strobe we're selling. Uh, so when you buy one of these, uh, you can just hook power directly up to one of the sets of terminals and it will work correctly. Now, I didn't mention this in the other video, but this little green sticker is just an indicator for me that the alarm works. I went through all the alarms and anything that worked, I just put a little green sticker on the back. Taking a look at the model number here, P2475. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at this here. So, we still have uh, two of these System Sensor Spectral Alert Classics P2415s, which uh, the only difference between this one and this one obviously is the color, but this alarm has a 75 candela fixed strobe, and this alarm has a 15 candela fixed strobe. So, taking a look at the back here, you can see that I've added terminal jumpers to this alarm and also the other one as well so if you buy this you'll get an alarm with terminal jumpers so you can actually hook power up to it and it will work and not have to worry about jumpers and again the green sticker on the back just uh, was an indicator for me that it is a working alarm there's the model number alright now this I haven't uh, listed yet but I will probably be listing it as soon as I make this or as soon as I upload this video but I have three of these system sensor uh, spectral alert classic remote strobes uh, I'm going to take a look at the back of these here you can see the model number is S2415 so this is a 15 candela remote strobe again the little green sticker just means it works uh, since this is a remote strobe, only two terminals, don't have to worry about jumpers at all, so that's nice. So, every single one of these alarms is in great condition. However, if we take a look at the bottoms of some of these, you can see there's some very minor uh, paint marks. Nothing serious at all. It does not alter how the alarm works or how it appears. And then we still have... 12 of these Simplex 4099-9001 uh, single action addressable pull stations. Uh, so we flip this over, you can actually see there's still the original wires from uh, when it was uh, removed from the system. Now, every single one of these pull stations were removed from my old elementary school, and they are in great working order. Uh, but like I said in my advertisement video, I have no way to test the addressable module to see if it's actually working. So I can't make any promises on if it works. The addressable module anyway. So of course with this pull station you need a simplex B key to open it. And the B key is not included in the purchase. We'll go ahead and open it up here. So taking a look in here you can see the addressable module and uh, the model of this pole station 4099-9001 we uh, lift this t label up a little bit here you can see the switch is used to set the address and back when this one was in service it was M1-98 and of course you pull it it's activated uh, to reset it stick your key in open it up. Just a traditional T-bar. Now with these uh, Spectral Alert uh, Classics P2475s, uh, I did get a question. Uh, someone was asking me how badly are these faded. Uh, some of them are worse than others, but overall these are in pretty good white condition. I mean there is some hint 
of yellow to the alarm, but it is nothing bad at all. It's mostly white with just a hint of yellow to it. All right, folks, so just to wrap up this video here for prices, we're selling each of these for 20 bucks a piece plus shipping, $20 a piece plus shipping. The remote strobes uh, we're selling for $15 a piece plus shipping, and the pole stations, $25 a piece plus shipping. So if you want to get one of these, uh, I'll leave a, dis a link in the description on where you can find these products for sale. And I hope you all have a Merry Christmas, and stay tuned for part two of the Christmas special. This is Matt with Storm and Rail Fan 96. Thanks for watching.